Yesu FTDX10 is an interesting high-frequency radio, partially due to its origin and style. The company has placed this radio to compete with the ICOM IC7300, which is the most popular high-frequency radio available at this moment. However, rather than creating a brand new radio from the drawing table, Yesu seems to have created a mini version of the more expensive and more capable FTDX101D. This mashup in creation means that the Yesu FTDX10 is remarkable in a few aspects and can confusingly inadequate in some others. The appearance of the transceiver is dominated by a large screen and an oversized knob. The display is a touchscreen TFT that offers a lot of information related to the functioning of the radio. Amongst other things, you can see the frequency and the beautiful waterfall on the display. Since it's a touchscreen, you can tap on specific frequencies on the waterfall and then change the operating frequency. You can also touch the screen to access several menus and functions. Oddly enough, Yesu appears to have chosen arbitrary timings for the panels on the radio. Some panels will go away after two seconds. Others might take something like 3.5 seconds. Well, some can stay on indefinitely. And this timing is after Yesu tried to fix the timing in response to complaints from users. Perhaps the panels can stay on for longer, at least until the user makes a selection. The right side of the radio features a large knob and several buttons. Most of the buttons are placed around this knob. Usually, I love prominent buttons and knobs, but in this case, I'd have preferred that the knob lose some weight and make room for the other buttons languishing around it. One of the downsides of the current approach is that the commonly used keys like band and mode are trapped in tiny spaces without easy access. Reaching them can be a bit annoying and even frustrating if you hit a few wrong buttons on your way to reach these popular keys. Though I've been critical of several aspects of this transceiver, it's certainly not all bad. This is a very decent radio with great features and plenty of useful aspects. The waterfall and band scope often take the biggest pile of the discussion about this radio. The function is visually stunning and fun to use. If you want digital modes like FT8, just connect to a computer via USB. It's rather quick and painful to connect and works in this mode without a hitch. With a network remote control software like the SCU LAN 10, it's possible to operate the transceiver remotely. Given the functioning and placement of the transceiver, its comparisons with the ICOM IC7300 are unavoidable. Features like display, waterfall, and spectrum scope are very similar to what's available on the IC7300. Yet there is the benefit of technology on the side of the FTDX10. This model is roughly five years younger than the IC7300 and thus benefits from improved components and technology. It has better audio quality and dynamic range. However, it also carries a notably higher price tag, which might not be so easy to ignore. To sum up, what we like is the good looks and features, beautiful LCD touchscreen and display, good sound quality, and an overall feature-rich radio. On the downside, the fast disappearing touchscreen panels are annoying, and popular buttons like band and mode should have been better placed. Our ratings for functionality are 9 out of 10, reliability 9 out of 10, value for money 8.5 out of 10, for an overall rating of 9 out of 10. So what do you think? Is this the best high-frequency radio for you? Or do you think another radio is better? Check another video where we reviewed the top high-frequency radios and see if any of these is a better option for you. Tell us in the comments below, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Have an awesome day.